And earlier this morning, 22 News reporter Julia O'Keefe spoke with residents in our region about how they are reacting to this attempted assassination. Happened. Oh. Feelings of fear and shock were common across America Sunday morning after an attempt was made on the life of former president and Republican nominee Donald Trump at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania Saturday night. I spoke with several Springfield residents about the incident, all of them expressing their disappointment in where our country is headed. Obviously, my family and I were very shocked and sad for our country. I was disappointed, uh, disillusioned. My parents came together in the 60s and I knew about the political assassinations of that era and it's always uh, demoralizing when violence is used. This moment raising questions on what campaign events and rallies may look like moving forward. With the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee this week and the Democratic National Convention following it next month, residents told 22 News how they hope both officials and the public respond to the shooting. Well, I would think that the people who are professionals would amp up their security. I don't think you should change the way you live. Uh, that is a negative response because then you're letting a person's evil intentions uh, manipulate how you live your life and we shouldn't do that. Amidst uncertainty, locals express their hope for our country's leaders to work for the collective instead of the individual. I would like to see unity. I would like to pe see people not be so angry at each other and just be united and be proud of our country. We need to come together, but we need to come together with a purpose. Right now, we live for ourselves mostly and our leadership plays to that. What, you, what are your opinions about this? What are your likes? What are your dislikes? But we don't really have a purpose together as a community. And so on every level, we, we need to focus on what we can do for each other. Calls for unity and peace continue to spread across the country as the public awaits further details from the investigation and measures to distinguish political violence in our democracy. Working for you, Julia O'Keefe, 22 News.